Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is How to Make a Travel Blog by To the Nations Worldwide. I'm your host, Mike Pletz, and today we are continuing with our step by step guide on how to create a travel blog from scratch. Join us every weekday for the next two weeks at 1 p.m. Eastern as we go through each step. Like our Facebook page for more on travel, blogs, photography, and so much more on travel. You can click the link in the description or go to tothenationsworldwide.com, go to the e-learning tab, and click how to make a travel blog from scratch. From there, you'll want to go to unit two, setting up, and creating your name, lesson one. There you will find this page where we will continue from our previous lesson, where we talked about why you should make a travel blog, what to blog about, and a niche that you can fill. In today's post, we're going to be talking about your blog's identity, choosing that right niche, knowing your purpose, creating your name, and creating your logo. Now, in the previous episode, we talked about how a niche is a subset of the market. If travel is our market, it's dominated by big players, so you want to be a big fish in a smaller pond. You want to become an authority in that space, in that niche, and you want to work your way up. So choose something that interests you and something that makes you unique. You can search online about that niche. Uh, you can see what other people's brands are around that niche. Um, you can see what the re results show up and you can uh, see what the share is of that market. See what other players are in that niche. Knowing what's available out there to you is the best way to find out what niche you can fill. From there, you can decide if you want to continue with that niche or if you want to find one for yourself. For example, the to the nations worldwide.com is mostly about uh, a couple travelers traveling the world and becoming digital nomads in a sense of becoming more location independent with our jobs in the pursuit of that. So from there, once you have a niche, you can create a purpose for your blog. You can ask yourself, what do you want to accomplish with your blog? At the core of a blog, it should be there to help people to provide value. If you do this, your readers will come to you. They will follow you wherever you go. But how will you do this? Well, think about your niche and think about how you can help these people. Who is it that you're going to be helping? If you can help the people in your niche, you're going to be showing them uh, different places that they can visit or food that they can eat and giving them step-by-step -step guides of how they can accomplish that. So in order to know who you're helping, you're going to want to create an avatar, an ideal person that will be reading your blog. You need to understand them from top to bottom. You need to know who they are, what do they do, what are their problems, so that you can understand how you can help them. So understanding who is going to be reading your blog is the best way to understand how you can help that person out. So we continue on to naming your blog. Once you've chosen a niche, once you know who you're going to be helping and creating a purpose for your blog, you can move on to naming your blog. Now, if you already have a name in mind, that's perfect. You can go on to searching online to see if that name is already taken. But if you haven't, now's the time to be creative. Now's your time to, uh, to compile all your thoughts about your niche and your, your ideal reader and putting that together and jotting down as many names as possible and seeing which ones stick. Uh, think about what your logo might look like for that name and think about inspiration behind that name. This is the starting point of your brand, so you're going to want to take your time and create that name that's going to stick. Once you have that name, you're going to want to go to GoDaddy and do a domain search. You can do this through our website, or you can go to GoDaddy.com and just do a quick search and see if that name is available. If it's not, 
Probably not a good idea to go ahead with that name. You could be using somebody else's brand already, and that'll cause problems in the future. Uh, another way to do this is to search social media accounts, knowing, or uh, even doing a quick Google search. So you, you know that what other brands are using alternatives to your name or something similar to your name. If your name is too close to somebody else's brand, you're going to want to stay away from that to avoid any legal issues in the future. Uh, also, you're going to want to make sure that all the social handles for that name for social media are available. One thing that we didn't consider with To The Nations Worldwide was that Twitter names can only be 20 characters. To the Nations Worldwide is 21 characters. So we had to shorten it to To the Nations WW for our uh, Twitter username. Uh, it's not a, that big of a deal, but at the end of the day, we would have liked to have To the Nations Worldwide as our Twitter username. Uh, branding is important for your name. So make sure it's recognizable. It's the first step, it's the first image that's gonna come into your reader's mind. They need to know what your name is and what it symbolizes to them. You need to understand that. Consider your logo design, which brings us right to creating your logo. Much like your name, you're gonna to wanna to take time. You're gonna want your logo to spark emotion. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to choose the right colors, the right images that are gonna be in your logo. If you're having trouble thinking of a logo, you can search online for designs for inspiration. Uh, avoid similar imagery, but you can combine similar imagery. Just make sure you're being unique, you're being original. Color is important, it sparks emotion, it's your identity. So whatever color you use in your logo, this becomes your brand's identity. You're gonna wanna use those colors throughout your website. So make sure you're choosing colors that you like and reflect your personality. The cheapest way to have a logo created is to create it yourself or to have somebody you know create it. Uh, my brother created the To The Nations Worldwide logo and did an amazing job. I am not one for graphic design, so I had to get somebody else to do it. Uh, if you're in that same boat, you can go to Fiverr. Fiverr is a great website that you can find a, a logo designer and you can pay them to have a logo made for you. It's basic packages start at about $5, but for more uh, packages, they move up in scale. Also 99designs is a great one that you can choose different packages, uh, lots of different logo designers submit their design for your brand and you're able to choose the one that you want and go from there. So those are two resources that will help you in creating a logo for your blog. That is it for today's episode of a step by step guide to making your travel blog. Uh, if you want to follow along for more, like our Facebook page and click the link in the description for on creating your travel blog. Hope this was helpful to all of you and we'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Thank you, happy travels.